and he puts it back in. Edwards was on the on the block. I, I, I dumped the ball into him to play off of that. He has not had a lot of touches on offense in the overtime periods. Ford. Runner, good. It's not to say Jordan Ford is Steph Curry, but there's such a similarities. There's traces. Yep. And you know what? There's not a selfish player on that ball club. He step up, ready to knock it down. Now how about this, Dan? Jake Tulsa just ran out of the locker room, and he's getting ready to check in the game. And BYU fans are standing. That's great to see for that young man. That did not look good a few minutes ago. Fitz, jump stop, foul. Just those nine games in the, in the beginning of the season and then out with the hand injury during conference play. And a technicality. Basically, Yoli Childs explored the draft after a tremendous season last year and signed with an agent that wasn't NCAA certified. So when he wanted to come back to school, he had to pay for a percent free throw shooter, one of two. And BYU, 50% of the line as a team with an eight point lead. Jordan Ford needs to shoot the ball at some point. They have to create some offense for him. As the concern right now is they don't feel like they're contesting the three-point shots and being there on the catch. That was the big point of emphasis defensively for the Zags. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Sean. They have not defended Fitz at all. That's been their dilemma. Jordan Ford. Uh, they've locked up Fitz a little bit here in this half. we got to get him some shots. Who's he? Gets shut down in the lane. That's the Jordan Ford, 10 to shoot. Ford and certainly Fitz have not scored in his half, have they? Ford floats, and he'll have a chance to go to through him to be successful. I think it's been a big, big part of their success this season. That was a good tease. I promise we'll reveal all of your WCC postseason award selections as we go along with our show. Krebs for three. Start of quarter two. And this is where Peristeri have to hang in. You cannot let this Jerusalem line up. Start to build that lead. Terry, oh! Chip wins the tip for Creighton. Catch and shoot, that's a long three. Five minutes will be interesting for both teams, correct? Very important. You, you set the you set the tone. You're either season. A talented kid, really got a chance to step up. Losing some talented performers. Again, off the high pick. They're gonna hold for the last shot. There's like a nearly a two-second differential. Hatcher guarded by Mack out top. Gets the ball screen from Maria. Drops it inside. Maria with a little push. Should right hand was needed. Ten minutes to go here in Israel. Jerusalem lead by 14 over Polak Cortez. Did the French side have anything left in the gas tank to come back into this one? McGee. To League, we don't value durability anymore. We like it when guys sit out, so we can't overly penalize him for coming back with great caution from injury. Harris, the Scott. Chased by Harrell. Look at this defensive team on the floor for the Clippers. Now Burks makes a sensational move there. They got some good talent on the court tonight here at the Coliseum. Nick Claxton, John and Musa, Deng Adele, Justin Anderson, all four with NBA experience, along with the rookie, Jalen Hands, running the show at point guard. It is Long Island in the Navy, our island uniforms. Greensboro in the road grays, trimmed in the Charlotte Hornets purple and teal. Flaxton inside on Barry, a size mismatch, and he goes right. In back-to-back -back games, number one in the G League, fewest points per game allowed over the last five. Also, the rebounding. The Nets monsters on the glass lately. Franchise record 72 rebounds 
just two games ago. They had 64 on Monday, the fifth most in franchise history, and these Erie Bayhawks are vulnerable on the glass. And the three-pointer, these two... Played in 250 games before you made your NBA debut. debut. <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like Dick Life trolls me when I do the games. I just feel that way. <laughs> he's 189 days older than Tom Brady. I know he's 43. It's unbelievable. Oh, nice. Cancer. He's been impressed with him. Plays hard and he's very athletic like his father was. Cantor, a nice little up fake. And maybe making it a much tougher pass for Christian Wood. He was able to stop at the three-point line, unguarded, and knock it down. Here's the first FB touch to the baseline. Fires, fills it, and back to the baseline. And he came out and made all of that happen. From just across the bridge, grew up in Oakland, and Harris victimized him on that. To hashtag Cadillac Trivia. Alec Burks. Has checked in for the Sixers. Acquired in that deal with the Warriors in early February. Tobias Harris now. I think you could have made a case if Michael Malone wanted to challenge that. Yeah. Howard got great position underneath and he's fouled again. But going back to Jimmy's. Uh... His length is overpowering in that time. I think flustered notice a little bit. He got that ball out of bounds. Hurts on Reyes. Reyes sticking with him. Went after the first ball. Out O'Shea Brissett. He's another one of those Canadian players, a Toronto native. In fact, a native of Mississauga. Only <laughs> grew up only 20 minutes from the Paramount Fine Food Center. Ellenson knocks down the line. He's got nine. The bench squad is doing work for the Blue Coats today. Really impressive stuff. As Munford comes in to help facilitate. And there is a... We're back to action here. Nets down by 17. And the three extending the Wisconsin lead to 17, 121 to 104. John Agbunu going right back to work inside and draw. Got a chance to close this gap here and get a stop. So going downhill. Maybe a 16 straight. You and I could shoot better than that okay. in our retired lives. Alexander. That's a two for Alexander. The year he was also injured for four straight games in conference play, including two losses, one against Gonzaga and one against St. Mary's. It's just a completely different team when Yoli Childs is off the floor, and they're happy to have him back in 